Let me tell you why I didn't go see After Earth. So a few weeks ago, uh, on my Facebook, one of my, my old roommate posted this thing saying that M. Night Shyamalan was involved in After Earth. And until I saw that post, I had no idea. There was nothing about him in the trailers. There was nothing about him on the movie posters. If you were to look at the movie posters for any other movie before this, his name is, is big and, and it lets you know like, hey, it's an M. Night Shyamalan feature. And now they don't do that anymore because there's a stigma associated with his name. Oh, Everyone groaned when they saw my name. I... I don't understand. Maybe people don't like your movies anymore? Two of M. Night Shyamalan's movies are on my top five worst movies of all times, including The Village and The Happening. I, I do own those movies, but I own them for the purpose of uh, unintentional humor. We're fine right now. Nothing's happened out here yet. I mean, you can see that. Just listen to our voices. We're perfectly normal. On Blackwater, keep on rolling, Mississippi moon, won't you keep on shining on me? See? We're normal. M. Night. What happened, man? What happened? This is a Will Smith summer blockbuster. And Will Smith has had a summer blockbuster hit year after year after year, uh, starting in 96 with uh, Independence Day. Starting with, in 96 with Independence Day, Will Smith has had a string of summer blockbusters. Not to say movies that come out other times during the year, but during the summer, Will Smith plus the summer equals bank. The opening weekend, even Wild Wild West made more money than After Earth. So it kind of says something about M. Night Shyamalan's direction. I don't even know what's happened to this man. I mean, I, I, that should be, they should make a movie, they should make a little documentary about what's happened to M. Night Shyamalan's career. That might sell more tickets than After Earth. One of the movie reviewers said that after After Earth, after After Earth, I said it right, after After Earth, M. Night Shyamalan's gonna have trouble even directing traffic. All these things combined, this kind of proves my point that it was a good decision not to go see After Earth. I don't even think I'm gonna wait for that to be a DVD rental. I don't think I'm gonna wait for that to be anything. 